Hello, what's up? I'm Inez Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to create some awesome atmospheric smoke effects in Adobe After Effects entirely done with an After Effects without the use of any external plugins or stock footage. A really cool thing to add into your motion graphics to give your background some more dynamic feeling. So yeah, really cool effect. Um, it's actually inspired on a project that I made last week. I also did a tutorial on that. I will put a link to it in the description so you can go and check that out as well because it delivers some really cool results. And apart from that, I will be making another tutorial where I will be explaining how to do those floating particles in the scene, uh, which are also really cool to add into your um, videos and whatever. So yeah, that's really cool. Right now, we're just going to focus on that smoke. Let's open up Adobe After Effects and get started. Alright, here we are in Adobe After Effects and I'm not sure if you can see it right, but here is the atmospheric smoke created. So we have a background with different variations of speed and sizes of some fractal noise. So I'll take you through how to create uh, this effect right now. So let's create a new composition and we'll make it full HD, so that's 1920 by 1080p. And we'll rename this Atmospheric Background, okay? 30 FPS, 10 seconds long, seems about right, and we'll click OK. So, right, we, all right, so here we have our new composition. The first thing that I want to do is right click and create a new solid layer. This is just going to be our background, so I'm going to call it BG just to um, be safe. Then I'll click on that layer and I'm just going to hold Ctrl and press D on the keyboard or go to Edit, Duplicate. And right now I'm just going to rename it by hitting the return key and just renaming this to Fractal Noise. Oh, one. There we go. Okay, so now in the effects and presets right here, I will be searching for fractal noise and we'll be using the noise and grain fractal noise effect. Apply this to our layer right here. So now we have something like this and here is where the magic actually happens. So we have all these settings right over here. The first thing that you can do is um, I'll keep it on basic, but you can play around with the contrast here uh, depending on how intense you want your smoke to be. Then I want to open up the transform tab right here and scale it just the way you want it to be. You can also uncheck the uniform scaling and actually scale it more like this if you want to. That's completely up to you. Maybe you want your uh, clouds to be a little bit wider and you can do that right here. So maybe we have something like this going on and then we have some evolution right here uh, which will animate uh, the fractal noise like so. So what we want to do is hold alt and click on the stopwatch for the evolution to add a script so it actually uh, keeps animating in a loop. So we'll write time times and then it's up to you something like 75 should do fine. Let's see how that works here. And now we have just a subtle animation like so. Of course, smoke travels to uh, the left, right or up. Uh, so you can play around with that as well um, by playing with the offset turbulence right here. And of course, you can go ahead and animate this. But again, I will be doing this with an expression so we can actually um, well do this continuously. So hold Alt and click on the stopwatch for the offset turbulence. And then right here, we'll open up the brackets and write value. Open brackets again, enter zero and close the brackets. This is actually the value for the X, uh, so this value right here, and we'll write comma, and again, value, open bracket, one, close bracket, and close bracket again to close the first bracket, and then uh, we have our expression. So um, the last value, the first, well, value one here is for the Y value right here. So X goes left and right, and Y goes up and down. So what you can do now is behind the uh, value zero for example and behind the x we can add so we can add plus time times uh, 100 for example and now it's only going to travel to uh, the right normally so right here we see the animation it's traveling to the right what you can do as well is in the value one we can um, minus time uh, times 50 for example and that's going to make it move up a little bit like there is some kind of gravity. So you can really play and um, well change all these values right here. I'm just going to undo the traveling up uh, part here. Um, I want to keep my smoke just like this. And also in my evolution I want to actually up this to 150. So we have a little bit more variation going on. 
Now, of course, we can also play with the complexity right here. Uh, if we're going to take this down to one, we'll see that we have no detail whatsoever. We can crank this up all the way up to 20, and now we're going to see a lot of details. So that's up to you. I like to have a lot of detail in there, so I'm going to keep it as it is right here. Okay, so really cool. What you can do now is press T on the keyboard. And now we actually want to lower this to something like 5. And if we're going to preview this, you can actually see some smoke in the distance now. So this is exactly what we're actually looking for. The only thing that we still have to do is add some variation in there. So to do that, we'll click on my layer and go to edit and duplicate that layer. And I'm going to press E twice on the keyboard. That's going to open up all the expressions for that layer. So right here, uh, what we want to do is change the value a little bit. So maybe change this to 100 and maybe change the speed to something like 70 or maybe even 50. And uh, there we go. And then we can click on that layer and maybe play with the transform. So uniform scaling, uh, we can make this a lot bigger, for example. And now we're going to get different speeds, different layers of our fractal noise. We can also toggle the switches and change the blending mode to a screen, for example. And that way, if you're going to add some color to your background, for example, if we click on the background, go to Effect, Generate, uh, Gradient, Ramp right here, you're going to see that we actually see through uh, right here. So maybe we want to make this um, very dark blue. Okay, and then this one, maybe uh, a little bit like orange, reddish kind of. And just keep it very subtle. Um, but that way you can get some uh, color in your background and add these cool atmospheric smoke effects. Also, you can click on these smokes and go to effect, color correction, tint, and play with the color of the white right here. Maybe you want blue or you want a little bit like dust colors uh, right here. And that way you can change these colors if we're going to solo this and press T on the keyboard and bring it back up to 100. Uh, you can see right here we're actually changing the color from our smoke. So um, play with the opacity right here and do whatever you um, want actually. Okay. And like this we keep stacking so you can duplicate it one more time if you want to. Control D and open up the transform and maybe change it to something like 50 very or a little bit bigger like so and just lower the opacity to something like two or three to add a little bit more detail and also press E twice again and maybe change this to like 250 and make it fly a lot quicker, 200. So now we have different levels of smoke, really, really cool. Okay, so what you can do as well is add another layer, an adjustment layer. And right here, we're going to pick our lips tool and just add a quick vignette. So double click on here. Um, I'm just going to make sure that I actually see my mask here. Subtract that layer, press F on the keyboard, change it to something like 500. Go to effect, color correction, curves, and just bring down the curves. So we have some darker edges uh, to tone down our atmospheric uh, scene here. Okay, so... That's it for uh, this tutorial, actually. So this is how to create fake atmospheric smokes. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like. Also subscribe to the channel for more and definitely check out our website. We have a bunch to offer, uh, which I'm sure you will like. So links will be in the description. And apart from that, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.